Hi all, this is AlITN bringing you another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Rainbow Wedlock. Last time we fought some Team Aqua Grunts and almost made a big mistake, but uh, everybody made it through it. I haven't done any extra training currently uh, between the last episode and this one. Elliot keeps calling me. He called me during training as well. That's three phone calls from Elliot. I should start a counter. Um, but right now, I mean, I think we... Hmm. I guess we could start the episode by getting an encounter on the next route. Uh, let's see, what can we possibly run into here? So we could get an Electrike, we could get a Zigzagoon, we could get a Wingle. We don't have any of those. We could get an Oddish. Um, I think Plusel and Minon are also here. But I, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we could possibly run into so that we don't get caught off guard. So, um, Scout and Stormy, um, I don't know, I don't want really, I think I'm going to send out Fleece and Charon because I don't really want to, um, oh, but then again, Louie has, no, Louie would be a very bad choice because if we run into a Wingle, we're going to be hit with a wing attack. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to send out Fleece and Charon. Um, intimidate whatever the encounter is and then hopefully catch it. So, I don't think there's anything here that's a duplicate unless we run into um, a Poochiana, which I'm not sure is possible on this route. I think Poochiana is mostly confined to the early game. Oh, okay. Didn't, didn't honestly expect that. But I believe Minun's more common in Emerald than Plusle is. Um, so... I don't really want to knock this thing out, but I know- okay, that's a little bit rude. Yep, Fleece is already paralyzed. Okay. So, uh, it's a female Minon. Let's send in Charon. See if we can't absorb and see what that does. Um, well, Fake Out probably won't kill it. Yeah, okay. Um, Minon's pretty bulky. Uh, I think Nature Power turns into Stun Spore. Okay, thank goodness it didn't turn into, like, Shadow Ball or something. Needle Arm. I think it turns into Needle Arm in the desert. Um, okay. Let's see if Absorb... I think Minon has pretty good special defense, so they shouldn't do a ton. Okay, yeah. I just want to get its health down a little bit more before we start throwing Great Balls. I don't know, maybe we can get it in a regular Pokeball. That's just rude, ma'am. Minun. I have trained a Minun in Alpha Sapphire. It was actually part of my main team. Uh, his name was Minroy, and I got him from a Wonder Trade. Uh, he's one of my favorite Pokemon, honestly, um, that I've had in recent memory. Okay, so we've got this Minun. Um, Minon, the cheering Pokemon. At the meeting of Pokemon Academics, it was announced that simultaneous exposure to electricity from a Plusle and Minon will promote circulation and boost vitality. Huh. That's interesting. Um, nickname, yes. Uh, what are we going to name her? How about, um... Uh, how about Sparky? I know, it's not very original, but I think it's cute. That'll work. Um, alright. So, I'm pretty happy with that encounter. Uh, my nun is not the greatest Pokemon stat-wise, but, uh, it's certainly unique. I don't use a lot of my nun. Um, and it's, it's not a Zigzagoon, so that's something. No offense to Zigzagoon. Okay, naughty nature, so she only likes females. Uh, da, 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 da. Likes same gender. Okay. Oh. Was Diva also only likes females? Oh, likes same and genderless. That's what that stands for. Okay, so... Um, likes females. There we go. Okay. Cool. 
So there is our encounter. Um, I kind of want to get some soda pops from that guy, so let's go do some battles. Um, and then, oh, well, we should heal first, but, uh, oh boy. So our battle with Brendan is coming up. Um, I mean, we basically have to use Fleece and Charon, right? I guess we could use Louie and Caleb. I just... Well, I guess we could technically use any of our pairs. I'm just really worried. I don't know what Pokemon he has. Um, I'm used to him having Grovile because I always have uh, Mudkip. It was my first Pokemon, and I'm just the most attached to it. But this time he's going to have a Marsh Top. Um, I think around level 20, so we should probably level up a little bit more. This is just a regular old normal type in this generation, so goodbye, Azuril. Poor dear. And this is a regular old water type. Still not a good matchup for Caleb. Um, let's see, what else does Brendan have? I think if he has a Mudkip, then he ends up... I mean, obviously he had a Slugma last time, so we have to keep that in mind. Um, I definitely don't want to use Stormy and Scout. They've been... they've proven to be very, very fragile. Um... So I'm guessing, so it's between Fleece and Charon and Caleb and Louie, and Caleb and Louie can't really handle um, Slugma, so we're right back down to um, basically Fleece and Charon are the only options. <laughs> so let's not get them seriously injured before. I used to think that those inner tubes in the background were just like giant donuts. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that, but as a child I was like, oh, giant donuts, those look delicious. Um... So that's that's an interesting fun fact about child me. I uh, saw inner tubes, thought they were giant donuts. Oh no, this isn't going to take it out in one hit. It's going to use supersonic. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's switch. Hmm. Oh, water sport. The most useless of moves. I want to, if you, hey, if you have ever had an experience in which water sport was useful, put it down in the comments below. Uh, I personally haven't, and same thing with mud sport. Mud sport I think is even less useful because most of the time it's on ground types and it weakens electric type moves. Um, Caleb is trying to learn peck again. Caleb, no, give, give it up, buddy. We don't need peck. You're, you're fine. You're perfect the way you are. Alright, uh, one last dude. If you're looking for a battle in the seashore house, you'll find no hotter trainer than me, matey. Hmm. Oh, I need to talk to the little girl outside this shop. She has one of my favorite lines in this game. Alright, what are we going to do against this thing? Um, hmm. Guess we're going to Ember. Okay, that did a decent amount. The growl's not going to do anything. Okay, Caleb. Pulling through for us. We love you, buddy. Um, oh, I did end up looking up uh, Watson's max level, and it is 24. So that's our level limit. Uh, we've got quite a way to go before then, so I, I'm assuming we're going to end up doing some level grinding. Because unlike Brawly, I'm not just going to stroll in there and fight him. Uh, Watson is no joke. Like, I honestly might be more scared of Watson than I am of, um, Norman, which is saying something. I feel like these games are kind of... Honestly, Emerald just has a lot of really difficult gym leaders. Like, Tate and Watson... Tate and Watson... Tate and Liza aren't a joke either, and honestly, neither is Juan. Like... <laughs> and Winona can do some serious damage. I don't... Like, after the second gym leader, things kind of ramp up in difficulty. Um... I don't have as much difficulty with Flannery most of the time, but looking at our team this time, I think that's going to be a bigger problem. Um, we've definitely not got a Flannery-able team. We've got... Um, yeah. Alright, this guy should give us some soda pops. It's half a dozen bottles of soda pop. Alright, um, we could use some more of that, honestly. Yeah. Wow, we have to buy it one at a time. Hmm. Okay, I'll buy one more and then we'll get moving. Okay. 
Soda Pop, I believe, heals um, 60 HP in this generation, so it's a little bit more useful than a Super Potion. Here's this little girl. Yo, trainers, whether you're hot to trot or cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. <laughs> I just think that's such an interesting line. What does that mean, ma'am? Um, alright. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? No. Ta-da! See? My inner tube's round! That's great, kiddo. <laughs> okay, we're gonna fight these literal children. Um... Poor things. I don't know, man. Feel a little bit bad about beating up level 12 Pokemon owned by two little kids. That's that's kind of messed up. Alright. Um. Oh, that didn't actually take it out in one hit. That kind of surprises me. Because uh, Gust is physical in this generation, which is not Tentacle's strong suit. Um... Tentacle is an interesting Pokemon. I don't think I've ever had a Tentacle on my team for any length of time. Um, Alright, I'm not terribly concerned about the confusion. Uh, nothing we can really do about it anyway. Um, let's take out this Tentacle and then hope that Caleb hits the Azuril and not himself. Come on, Caleb. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Good job, my boy. We're proud of you. You're doing great. Hey, Louis grew to level 20. Trying to learn Morning Sun. Hmm. Um, hmm. I don't know, honestly. I kind of, I like that he has Absorb because it comes into play a lot with, um, like, water types. Uh... But I guess if we had Morning Sun and Ground types, um, hmm, yeah, because Gust and Poison Sting are both physical. I'm gonna keep our current move set. Uh, we're gonna give up on Morning Sun for now. We might change our mind later, but for now, yeah, we're gonna pass on Morning Sun. Oh, okay, that that extra level did it for him. Um. Who names their son Chandler? Sorry if anyone's name is Chandler. I I can't say that I've heard that name a lot. Okay, another person who's going to call us randomly on our phone. Alright, um... Yeah, if anybody wants to gamble in Pokemon Emerald, make sure you pick up some Harbor Mail, because um, there's a lady that asks for it in... Da -da 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 -da, Mauville City. Um, if anybody wants to gamble in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, sorry, you can't. That is no longer allowed because it is a children's game. We can't teach children gambling. Um, frankly, I don't think the gambling system is all that fun. I, I don't understand gambling in the first place, though, so take that with a grain of salt. Uh... Hi, Professor Birch. For some reason, Professor Birch thought that we were going to travel with Brendan this entire way. Um, that would be interesting in a Pokemon game, just having someone, your rival, tag along behind you wherever you go. Can't say I would like that much. Um, alright. Please keep an eye out for my Brendan. Well, I'd better get going. Yep. You'd better. Um. Oh, hmm. I don't know if this was the best way to handle this situation, but whatever. I feel like it's better to have a little more challenge and do the double battles whenever possible. But I guess I'll see if I change my mind in a second. Okay. Oh man, now I wish I'd... Haha. <laughs> nice. Helping hand, helping hand combo. These people are not on the same page. Alright, um... Wow. That's just, that's bad strategy there, folks. I mean, they even outspeed us, so they could actually make use of that. I guess, oh, wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Special defense on Minan is astronomical. That's good to know. Um, we're going to have to team up to take these guys on. Uh, da, 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 da. I wonder what nature power does outside of... Oh, I think it's swift. Wow. Okay. I feel bad for being worried about this battle at all. Yep, swift. Okay. That should be better than um, bullet seed with their special defense. It really wasn't. Do they both have an Ornberry? Oh my god. Just what we needed this battle to be longer. Okay, we're going to use nature power again anyway. That's interesting. Oh, I guess Helping Hand, never mind. They don't outspeed us. Helping Hand um, takes priority. Yeah, now I feel silly. But don't worry. We took him out. Um... Whatever it was going to do, probably like Thunder Wave, knowing the AI, uh, it did not get to do. And then a uh, Minon. Oh, <laughs> you know, uh, they changed this in future generations, but I forgot that in um, third gen, the person will just send out a Pokemon and then you'll get to attack, which is not really fair. Um, so I'm glad they changed that. There's a lot of things about double battles in um, third gen that are kind of wonky, like Surf won't hit your, um, your ally, which like is good for the Tate and Liza gym battle, that's for sure, but other than that, it's like, oh, that's kind of weird. Um, okay. Uh, these guys, I think we can use Caleb and Louie for this fight. But yeah, I mean, Fleece and Caron are definitely going to be the ones to take on Brendan. I don't know how that's going to go. Did I feel the tug of your soul-soothing fragrance? Hmm, not sure how to answer that. Shroomish, shroomish, shroomish. All right. Oh, leech seed. No. You hate to see it. Okay. Um, let's finish this guy off and then switch. So I don't want to be taking leech seed damage throughout the Groselia fight. Caleb's getting up there in levels, though. He's almost to, um, almost to the other's levels. Uh, um, and here's a Roselia. Rosalia is a really interesting Pokemon. I like that they gave it a pre-evolution and evolution in, um, in Diamond and Pearl. I wonder how they, like, decide which Pokemon they're going to do that for. Like, you don't see Seviper and Zangoose getting an evolution, pre-evolution. Um, I just wonder who this is like, oh yeah, Rosalia, that one, one stage Pokemon from third gen. Let's, let's take that and give it more stages. I'm glad they did. Oh, that's not quite right. There we go. Alright, these guys also have a plus one mine on. Episode, what episode is this? Like seven? In which we do basically nothing. Um, these are the episodes you listen to in the background while you're doing something else. <laughs> these aren't the gym battle episodes. Um, although I guess if you were looking forward to Brawly's gym, that was probably a little bit of a letdown, but I don't know. When you see that somebody has, um, a Kadabra, I feel like you probably, a Kadabra and a Talo pair, you probably look at Brawly's gym and go, ah, not much is going to happen there. All right, Plusle's down. Fleece grid level 19. That's good. I do want to train them up before we fight Brendan, because I don't know for sure that his highest level is 20. And even if it is, ugh, you know, I just... Hmm. 
I've already almost lost one pair, like, twice. Uh, I don't really want to risk things. I guess we'll see. Hey, a Minun finally did damage to us. Okay. I'm just worried. I Everybody's like, oh, Brendan's, like, so easy. It's a terrible rival. Um, Brendan and May are terrible rivals. But, like, this battle here, I've lost Pokemon to it. I mean, that might just mean that I suck. <laughs> That's very possible. But um, I've also seen people on YouTube lose Pokemon to it. So I'm like, yeah, the later battles are kind of a joke in some cases. But um, this one, not so much. Like, they're... In Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you get a battle right after the champion that they have kind of a proper team. But in um, Emerald, yeah, no, they never even evolve their... Well, that's rude. They never evolve their starter to the final stage, so Brendan's just going to have a Marsh Tump forever. Really? You just going to start double slapping us, dude? Tail Whip. Hmm. I'm not super worried about a skitty, especially since we already have an attack lowering thing on it. Yeah, um, that's not, yeah, that's not a threat. I like when the opponent uses double slap and it hits like five times. <laughs> it's like, what part of double slap? All right. Cool. And then I think there's one more guy that, oh my gosh, stop calling me. What is wrong with you people? I don't know if you even get rematches until, like, after Norman. Um, there's a cave up here. I don't think it opens up until... Am I right in thinking it doesn't open up until after the Elite Four? I don't know, but the only thing in it is Zubat. And I remember there was a mechanic where, like, you could get different Pokemon in there. Um, I don't remember how it worked, and I don't think it was ever applicable to me. Like, it wasn't something I could have ever done. There's a lot of interesting mechanics that just kind of get lost in Pokemon due to, like, oh, this was a special event, and now you'll never see it again. Or, oh, look, we gave this Pokemon different forms depending on the season. Will we ever have seasons again? No. <laughs> I'm kind of, like, bitter about Deerling. I really like the Autumn... Form, but the only thing that shows up now is spring form. It's like, why did you create this and then not have a way to change its forms? Like, a lot of Pokemon fall by the wayside. I'm surprised that hasn't happened to Rotom. And then, of course, everyone knows Charmander will never fall by the wayside because Charmander is just Pokemon's special little boy, I guess. I don't know. Um... Yeah, so this cave isn't open right now, but after you beat the Elite Four, I think a cave opens up here. And it's got Zubat. Um, if I ever figure out, like, kind of what that mechanic was, maybe I'll talk about it. But, like, uh, we probably, I probably won't, because I don't think I'm going to remember. Um, let's get Fleece a little more experience, and then... I think I'll do a bit of training and then take on Brendan. And, I, I mean, our last Brendan fight went so well. I can't imagine how it could go any better than that. Um, yeah, I mean, we're not going to have that particular problem this time, but, uh, you know, the particular problem where one of your Pokemon isn't Abra and can't actually fight. I completely forgot that battle existed. And it's optional, you can skip it, but I just... I don't feel right about skipping battles that you can technically do and that I ran right into. Like, I don't know. Okay, let's fight this guy. Found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. If I remember correctly, he has an Aeron, which is not found in the grass around here. Yeah, um, you, you found this in the grass? Hmm. Alright, um... I think... Well, let's see how much Bite does. Eh. How much is Metal Claw gonna do? Okay, well, that was a crit. That's fine. Okay, now we're gonna switch. I don't want to risk that. Ah, the temptation to hit the speed up button. <laughs> 
Why? Why are you like this? Ugh. Okay, let's just try a bullet seed, see if we can hit. Okay. Then if this doesn't knock it out, we'll switch back to fleece. Why? Come on. Uh, okay. Maybe we'll stay in. I don't know. Okay, we did hit. You know, sometimes you get hit with mu one mud slap and then you miss like five times in a row. I had that happen. Uh, I took a muddy water in my platinum um, nuzlocke recently and it was like one muddy water, one accuracy drop. I missed return literally five or six times in a row. It was pretty ridiculous. Um, hmm. Not excessively worried about this electric, but I don't really want to switch to fleece on account of uh, her HP is not not looking great after that critical metal claw. Are we gonna get the mythical five hit bullet seed? Oh my gosh! Way to go, Charon. You are the best. We love you. We adore you. I'm actually almost out of time for this uh, episode, so maybe we're not gonna fight Brendan this time. Okay, well, there's a letdown if I've ever seen one. Let's just, um... I guess we can do a little bit of training and then wrap up the episode. Um... Yep, nothing to say here aside from... I'm nervous about that fight. I might do a little bit of in-between training just to get everybody up to, like, level 21. Um, we'll see. But, uh, this here is the trick house. I'm not gonna do anything with it right now. Um, most of the items it gives are too late to actually be useful, including the magnet, much to my chagrin. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to call it an episode a little bit early so I can get some training done. Uh, sorry for the relatively nothing happened episode, but uh, we got some trainers out of the way. We got some sodi pops, and uh, next time we're going to take on Brendan. So stay tuned. Um, thanks everybody for watching. Tune in next time for another episode of the I Shouldn't Save Until I Make Sure This Recording Actually Recorded. Pokemon Emerald Rainbow Wedlock.